Good morning everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. To get a hold of me, simply call the office at 303-684-3404. I'm very excited about the pickup that you and I are going to look at today and you'll see why there's tons of reasons to love this pickup. But the one thing that's kind of unique about it is it's actually going to hit the market and hit the lot. And what I mean by that is the previous ones were actually sold before they ever got here. So as of right now, this truck is still available. This is a 2022 Ram 5500 Limited. The truck has 2,500 miles. As you can see, it comes with a conversion that was done by Utility Body Works. So as we admire the truck from the side view profile, some things to note is this is a bright white in color. The truck comes with a 19,500 pound GVWR with a rear axle ratio of 4.89. So some things that we can kind of see from the side, two fuel tanks here and here, and the def tank is actually underneath this one. Comes with a little step right here to help us get up and in the bed of the truck. As we look on the side, we can see the chrome across here with the limited badge and the ram right above that. Right here is our Cummins turbo diesel badge with 5,500 heavy duty written right there. As we admire the truck from the front, And we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. You'll notice that it has sensors located all across the front. When it comes to safety, I challenge any pickup on the market to beat this one. But these sensors, if there's a person or an item right here down, when you go to start your travels, that's gonna notify you that they're there. Tow hooks located here and here. LED headlights that really light up. As we come on and see we have a row of lights right across the top of the truck as well. So at night, this truck really lights itself up. As we take a look under the hood, that's the Cummins 6.7 liter engine. It is coupled with the Ison six speed transmission. This truck offers 389 horsepower. So you talk about two companies with a long, rich history in Ram and in Cummins. As we start to walk around the truck, you'll see that the mirrors can be out here for towing and also slid in for regular driving. Additional camera located right here. As we take a look inside, you'll see that the interior is two-tone and you can see the stitching all the way around. We actually adjust the seat right here and this is for the lumbar system to let air in and out of the back of the seat. Some other things we can see from here, this adjusts the pedals steering wheel is located right here. This comes with the Kelderman air supply, both front and rear. So this, it does have a dump, so you can push that button and let air out of the back of the truck. Two memory seats located right here. On the door panel, two-toned again, you can see the stitching here with a light brown and a darker brown right here. Back up to the front real quick, we can see the air located right there. As we take a look in the back seat, the back seats are heated as well. When we put that up, there is a little platform here we can use to keep things level in our travels or we can pick that up and have even more storage 
located right there. Now, let's focus on the bed of the truck. When we take a look in the front storage component, here you'll see that it's all lined for longevity of the vehicle. Plus, this truck comes with the Hensley hitch, so we can adjust air in that hitch right there. As we take a look at this storage component, you can see we already have tons of goodies in here for you. For example, auxiliary cords. This is the interface module located right here. A few extra lights. In addition to that, a RAM cold weather cover located right here. So as you can see, you can hold a lot of stuff simply in that one component. Furthermore, there's a smaller one located back here. Now as we take a look directly behind, again we'll start at the bottom, work our way up. Underneath these, this plate is a hitch for a bumper pull trailer. Again, sensors located all across the back. The spare tire is easy to access right here. Now as we focus in on the hitch, a couple of things to take note of. You can see the airbags located right there. So if you are pulling a fifth wheel or even a gooseneck, as you're in your travels, this, tra this hitch is called the trailer saver. So basically you're riding on air as you travel. So not only does that save wear and tear on your trailer, but the truck as well. Now that fifth wheel can be swapped out for a gooseneck ball as well by simply removing one bolt and placing the gooseneck head in there. It's very easy to do. Uh, if you purchase a truck, I'll make sure to go over all of that with you. As we work our way up, another storage component right here. Plus as we go on up, we can see the backup camera as well. As we come on around and take a look at this side, still focusing on the bed. The conversion itself comes with a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty, which is very easy. If something happens, simply call the company and they'll take care of you there and instruct you how to do so. Now, if we look on this side without items in it, we can see how much room is available. In addition to that, they both have light switches located right there. As we take a look at the passenger seat, all of the manuals, everything we need is located right here in the glove box. On this side, we can see the limited batch here and yet stitching here, airbag located there and stitching all across in here. It does come with floor mats on all floors. As we take a look in the back seat, right here is a place to store periodicals, and right there is the original sticker that comes with the truck. This side as well can be pulled up, and there is our platform as well, or underneath we'll find a speaker. Cup holders located right there. Furthermore, charging ports located there. Let's crawl on in and take a closer look. push button start. This button gives us access to the rear window. Lights located up here. Now if we can look at the rear view mirror, we'll notice that that's really not a mirror, but that's a camera. 
so that makes things clearer and crisper than what you're used to traditionally seeing. As you can see, it comes with a really large screen, which is good from the standpoint of it's easy to maneuver around. If we take a look at the backup camera located right here, we also have access to all the cameras. Right there's the left mirror, the right mirror, backup, cargo, and that's the side one located there. So as you can see, it's very easy to maneuver around things of this size. <coughs> now, if you do purchase the truck, we will do a couple of things. We're gonna set your Bluetooth up for you. In addition to that, we will set all of your presets um, for your radio stations. Now, if you go to apps, basically that puts everything this truck can do on one screen, right? There's Alexa, come on down if you want to set up some additional auxiliary cables, things of that nature, heated steering wheel. But by going to the apps, that lists everything that comes with the truck. You can go to Comfort to set each pass each person up front onto how hot or cold they want the vehicle to be in terms of comfort level. Heated and vented seats as well. We can set air conditioning from here too. Navigation, not only shows you where you're at, but you can set it to where you want to travel and that'll set everything up for you in terms of navigation. Press the vehicle, there's a surround camera again and the cargo cameras and there's the apps that show us everything. Trailer brake is located right here. This is our tow haul assist button. This is the exhaust brake. So we live right next to the Rocky Mountains. If we're towing, that sure makes things safer not only for you and your family, but the other drivers as well. Here's the park assist located right here, both front and rear. If we choose to set up some auxiliaries or some additional things, we can use these buttons down here. Charging ports located here and here. A couple of cup holders located here with storage clear up there. In addition, we can pop this up and have a small storage area here or go ahead and lift up the console and we'll find even more down below. When we take a look at the steering wheel, we can set the cruise on this side located here and here. And on this side is where we would answer our phone as well. In addition, we can increase or decrease the volume to the stereo located right here. But extremely nice pickup that we have on the market today. If you have any other questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. Cell phone number 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.